Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and in today's video i wanted to talk a little bit of you know music industry conversation when it comes to albums so if you're interested in music industry conversation pop female rap r&b everything like that i really tend to talk about music a lot on this channel if you're new so like comment share subscribe and let's go ahead and get into this video so i wanted to talk specifically about first week sales and why i feel like to the music industry and also to fans the general public etc etc that it is so important for an artist especially a mainstream artist and i really mainly mean a mainstream artist because those are the artists who are being pushed and platformed and the most money is being put into opposed to like an independent artist who's on soundcloud or any other platform of which people don't really know about them and they don't have a label behind them um, i think first week sales are very important for larger artists and so i kind of want to get into why i feel that that is the case i definitely think it's important for a few reasons one reason i feel like is because they a lot of the time are attached to major record labels and management teams etc etc and i think the first week sales determines most of the time the hype or anticipation behind an artist and so if their first week sales are you know 10k 12k 15k and they're supposed to be a larger artist and the record labels are putting x amount of money money behind them for promotion for music videos for whatever their you know their images their their um makeup hair looks all of that stuff if they're putting all of this money into them and investing you know studio time whatever it is that they're paying for right and then they go to drop their first album and the first week sales are low you know 10 12 15 20k that shows in my opinion to the record labels that hey this artist really isn't in demand like that like yeah people might kind of like them but when it comes down to trying to sell the album um people aren't really tuning in that much and the first week sales are the first week sales uh after the first week people are still buying the album but the sales usually drop or slow down after the first week because first week is the most anticipated time when you know an artist drops a project anything after that that's being bought it's gonna like trickle in a little bit slower you know so it's not like always like a lot <laughs> but you know the music is being bought outside of the first week in case anyone is confused about that that um another reason why i feel like it's important not just to the record labels but to the fans is the fans also kind of see the same thing that the record labels see how in demand is this artist how many people actually care to go rush and buy and consume this album from this artist as soon as they drop it um the fans get to see the demand of the artist and that's why a lot of our favorite artists end up getting clowned when they're selling projects you know 10 and 12k you know first week because the fans can tell that those are low numbers for an artist that's supposed to be of a high caliber so like for example when it happened to sweetie i don't remember exactly what she sold so don't quote me it was like low it was like 10 12k or something like that first week people clowned sweetie because of the fact that she's supposed to be a huge artist she's done collabs with doji cat she has all these high-end budget music videos she looks very expensive she has all these followers on instagram and so it created a discourse of followers on instagram don't equal album sales and it's absolutely 100 percent true because that doesn't mean shit um <laughs> people don't understand like the differences in consumers um there's different consumers for different things some people are going to be consuming sweetie's instagram content going to be consuming her tiktok content going to be consuming maybe her youtube content but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're consuming her music content because they might not be interested in that. So, you know, 
not all your supporters are going to support every facet of your career and music for sweetie just hasn't been working out like that that the conversation is also happening around artists like doja cat well doja cat sold well over 10 to 12k but um her sales were still low to some people for an artist as large as doja cat is so people factor in the star power of the person and try to equate it to the sales and if those two things don't match then at the end of the day people are going to clown you on the internet <laughs> um positive examples of this or tremendously like large examples of this are also artists like taylor swift um i think she did like something like a million a million units or something crazy like that um first week for i forget it i think it was like a re-release of her work or something i was like oh my god like how is that even positive doesn't even sound fathomable but taylor swift's fan base is something insane she sells higher than um beyonce she sells higher than drake <laughs> like taylor swift's fan base is i don't even know how she's doing it you know what i'm saying but again that shows the demand of um taylor swift so imagine if one day taylor swift was selling i don't know uh, 200k first week or uh, uh or less people for her caliber for her star power and what she's normally producing people would be like what happened what what's going on obviously it would change to her demand is now nowhere near as high as it once was and people aren't checking for her nearly as much and so the label looks at that the people who are supporting her and putting money into her brand look at that and they're like hmm this isn't good so that's usually how artists end up getting shelved and and you know other artists on the label can end up getting prioritized over others because of the demand so the labels don't care about anything else they just care about are people tuning into you at the end of the day and if they feel like you know you're, you're not getting tuned into based on your sales and based on the perception that people have of you online and things like that or people aren't buying your tickets when it comes to the tours and stuff like that they will inevitably shelf you and then sometimes even drop you um i heard that saucy santana ended up getting dropped from his label i, I heard allegedly i don't know if this is actually true um, I heard Coyle Ray allegedly was dropped from her label. I don't know if that's true. I have to do some more research on that, allegedly. Um, there are artists who do not perform the way that they're intended to perform, and then they end up getting dropped, or they're not selling their singles or albums the way they're intended to sell them, so they end up getting dropped um, quietly, of course. The labels don't make a formal announcement. Um, but, you know, yeah, album sales those first week sales they're really important for mainstream artists to make sure they're pulling in certain numbers certain metrics because the labels are paying attention to that independent artists doesn't really matter nobody is checking that when it comes to them <laughs> but um let me know do you guys think that first week sales matter if you're a true music lover then you know that they do for mainstream artists but um let me know what you think i love you so much and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.